Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I do want to talk about some breaking news regarding Danny Alves. And then later in the video, we're also going to be talking about the future of Sergi Roberto. But before we go further into this video, I do want to talk about the OneFootball app. The OneFootball app is the best football app you could find within the app store. When it comes to the latest transfer news, the daily news, anything that you do want to follow regarding your favorite player or your favorite club or your team or any international team, all of that is going to be compact within the one football app and for those of you guys who are in the uk one of the best new features that the one football app does carry it is having la liga highlights within the app so if you guys do want to find any highlights regarding barcelona real madrid atletico madrid valencia whichever club you do desire the one football app will be having that and right inside your phone so the link is going to be in the description box down below by clicking that link you guys will be able to support me and this youtube channel it would be greatly appreciated but now let's get back into the video so let's first talk about danny alves because again, there is some breaking news because everything does indicate that Alves will be returning to Barcelona within this year or maybe in the January transfer window. And let me tell you guys, this is not just an agreement coming from Joan Laporta and Dani Alves. This is an agreement that has been agreed upon from Xavi Hernandez because he wants Dani Alves to return back to this club. This move was destined to happen because we have seen Alves basically say many times towards the media that he wanted to retire at Barcelona. He wants to return at Barcelona. The only reason why he even left in the first place is because of the tensions that he had with the previous board. And then we had Xavi Hernandez, who was also confirming that he does want this return. He wants Alves back into this club. And it does say here, according to Albert Rogue, Xavi has said yes to the arrival of Dani Alves. He wants the right back within this project. His signing has already been taking place from within the club. And then we also do have another report coming from Moises Llorens. And I quote, Xavi values Dani Alves' experience and leadership and believes he would be a positive influence within the dressing room. Yesterday, Barcelona were reluctant to bring back Dani Alves, but the opinion coming from Xavi has changed the situation. So we know right now that Dani Alves is going to be a very important player on and off the pitch for Barcelona once he does make that full transfer. Over the years, we have seen Barcelona basically fail to find a replacement of Dani Alves. And now with Xavi returning back into this club, he's saying, okay, look, about this right back situation, we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be bringing back Dani Alves because we want to grow the replacement from within the club, which is going to be Serginho Dest. And two, we're going to be bringing Danny Alves because he is also going to be a player on and off the pitch to help these youngsters. And really pay attention to what's actually going on here because that is basically Xavi signaling towards the club and towards the fans that this squad that we're going to be having, they're going to be young and fresh. We're going to have Ansu and Dembele in the front, Gavi, Pedri, Nico Gonzalez, Ricky Puch within the midfield. We're going to have a defensive line of Araujo, Eric Garcia, Balde, and Serginho Dest. And when, and when you do have young like that, it could be very dangerous because you also do need the experience within this club. And that is why Xavi wants to bring back Alves is because he wants to back these youngsters to the fullest. And the best way on doing so is by bringing someone who is very experienced, someone who has fought for titles, someone, someone who has won the trouble, the sextuple, who has been considered as one of the best right backs that has ever played the game. That is Dani Alves. So this is a huge moment for both the club and for the fans. And so of course, right, like I know that we do speak a lot on Dani Alves being a huge presence in the dressing room, I still think that Alves can bring a lot on the pitch. Like, he still has so much more to give. Now, look, he is 38 years old, and he's going to be playing in the right back position. The right back position is a position where you do need the most athletic players within your squad. You need them to be very young, and very mature on understanding the game because the right back position is where you do cover the most areas. You have to time your runs very well. And so once we see Dani Alves in a Barcelona shirt and he's playing and he is playing in the right back position, his age is going to show. He's going to look much slower than what we have seen five to six years ago. But when we talk about a player like Alves, right? I think that this player has became so good that even if we get 65% of what he was before, that is still going to tremendously help this football club. And so to finally end it here, it does say here, according to Fabrizio Romano, Dani Alves is going back to Barcelona. Here we go. He's returning at Barcelona as a free agent and we are currently just waiting for La Liga's approval. Xavi does want Dani Alves as the new signing immediately. There is a deal that will be agreed on for a one season contract after a direct contact with Alves' camp today. And then we do have another tweet coming from Fabrizio Romano who has stated and I quote, Dani Alves' contract with Barcelona will include a clause to extend the deal until June 2023. The agreement has been reached 
reached and completed today. The paperwork will be signed tonight. And that is basically it, right? As soon as Danny Alves does make it official with Barcelona that he will be moving towards that club and make that infamous return, we are going to be talking about it here in this YouTube channel and speak into greater depth on what he could bring on the pitch and off the pitch. Now let's move on towards the next phase of this video and I do want to speak on Sergi Roberto because he is a player where he may experience a ripple effect after the arrival of Dani Alves because many people have been questioning okay if Dani Alves is going to be coming back to Barcelona does that mean that Sergi Roberto is going to be out because if we're going to be having Dest and Alves in the right back position and then have Busi, Nico, Frankie, Gavi, Pedri, Puj all in the midfield position where is Sergi Roberto going to be fitting within this Barcelona squad does Xavi even want this player and so it does say here according to Matteo Moreto that Xavi has given his approval to renew Sergio Roberto's contract. So this is basically confirming that Xavi does want to retain the player for this season and he does believe that he has a position within this club. Now I do not know where he's going to be playing. I do not know how many minutes he's going to be receiving within this season but Xavi does have a plan for him. And then we also do have another report coming from Helena Condis that Xavi trusts Sergio Roberto. Next week a meeting will be held to discuss about the contract renewal. Talks will start from scratch. So look Barcelona were keen on renewing this player. The only reason why they want to renew Sergio Roberto is because they either want him to continue with this club or sell him in the summer if everything does go bad and sell him at a good price because they do not want to let Sergio Roberto go out for free. Now it is actually very believable that Barcelona may actually renew Sergio Roberto immediately and as fast as they can because they want to lock down this player only because of Xavi's approval. Now look, here's what's so tricky about this whole thing and I have talked about this in the previous video. Even though we know that Barcelona are going to want to renew Sergio Roberto, we still have no idea on what is Laporta's and Mateo Alemán's true intentions with Sergio Roberto because what if, right? What if there's something that we do not know? Like for example, what if Xavi, Laporta, and Mateo Alemán came to an agreement and said, okay, when it comes to Sergio Roberto, let's renew him. Let's use Sergio as much as we can under Xavi Hernandez's Barcelona see how he does perform and if it does seem like he is not needed then they sell this player in the summer of 2022 and Xavi is just going to say okay fine I'll keep Sergio Roberto for about nine months and I'll let you know if I need him yes or no and if you guys do want to sell him I have no problem with that so they could have discussions like that these are going to be things that we just do not know because at the end of the day as much as we are reading here we are not the ones working with in this club we do not know the true intentions of Sergio Roberto's situation and what they want to do with this player and look are we saying that Sergio Roberto is a horrible player or he's not at Barcelona's level? No, that is not the case. Sergio Roberto is a player that I know does very well within the midfield, but do I believe that he has the capacity to grow and be better than players like Gavi, Pedri, Frankie de Jong, and Sergio Busquets? No, I do not think so. And I think that right now, Xavi wants to add great emphasis on these youngsters. He does not want these players to be hindered in no way because he wants to build for the future. And having Sergio Roberto and giving him minutes, you are not building for the future. But again, that is just my opinion. I have no idea what Xavi does does want to do with this player. I have no idea what's going to be his position. What if he ends up playing as a center back or as a forward or as a right back or as a midfielder? We don't know. Only time is going to be telling. But that game between Barcelona and Espanyol cannot come soon enough. It's going to be so interesting. I, I cannot wait because I'm going to be fully analyzing that match from top to bottom in order to understand what Xavi really does demand coming from his version of FC Barcelona. But again, all of that is going to be discussed later down the line. That is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.